Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. I'm going to make a snippet out of this and throw it up as well and try to get people to come out there on Saturday. We're going to talk about the details here. Um, so let, let's actually jump into that right now. So in let me see i'll put it up here but you can find this on goa um so it's next saturday there's one in savannah and there's another one in smyrna the savannah meetup location is nine line apparel which is 450 fort argyle road in savannah georgia um and then the next meetup in smyrna is uh adventure outdoors which is uh, Remington Hall, 2500 S Cobb Drive, Southeast Smyrna, and that's at 1030. So the first one's at 9, that one's at 1030. Lots of details. You guys probably see Jordan's holding up something. If, uh, if you don't have this info, you can reach out to us and we'll, we'll get it to you. Very important to share this. I'm probably going to pull out this part and throw it up there. But we do need to try to do as much as we can. And if you're not in Georgia, you can still participate by sharing things or by reaching out to family and friends and stuff like that in Georgia. You know, uh, Babyface, I think you had a question. What was our comment? I was just going to say, I don't know if people realize how important this runoff is, these two mm -hmm. particular cases. Right. Um, this could sway gun. When we're talking here, most of the people watching come for guns. This could yeah. sway gun legislation for at least the next two years, if not a life, a generation or two, if they make sweeping changes. Right. Um, because nothing ever gets repealed. Just remember that nothing gets repealed. Yeah. What was the quote from um, from Schumer? That's the dangerous thing, right? Sh Schumer said something like, first we'll take Georgia and then we'll take the rest of America." Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. You know, then we change America. First we take Georgia, then we change America. Uh, it is really important. I, I don't know. This is probably a negative place to start, and whoever wants to jump in, Patrick, tell me if I'm wrong. It seems like on our side, the gun guys are very apathetic here and don't really want to support this. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard a lot from, from Georgians. No, Dave, you can you jump in. the gun Sorry. community at large? Yeah, I mean, or, I've, I yeah. saw... A, a oh, most... yeah, here mm -hmm. well, here in, in my community, mm -hmm. it's, it's you know, I'm rural, so there's there's way more Trump bumper stickers than there are, um, you know, that, that old guy that has dementia. Um, <laughs> but right, there's, right. But, but it, you know, you hear a lot about, about more of the Republican side of things. You don't see a lot of... It's very little Democrat here. So I'm not like in a, I'm not like in a real controversial area. There's some, you know, there's always a percentage, but you know, where, where Jordan's at, that's where it matters. You need to be down there. That's, yeah. you know, Alpharetta, Smyrna, Georgia, that area needs to really turn the heat up, you know, and Savannah, especially that whole Chatham County needs to be fixed. Yeah. So, so he's, what he's in the right places. So just quickly, because someone asked a question, uh, I think uh, M. Gabriel wanted to know, Hank, YouTube deleted them or suppress distribution? I can show you, it's on, it's on my channel, my YouTube channel, I'll just show it here to you, the main one. And so here's the one with Jordan, and that has 880 views from two weeks ago. And that's it. Yeah, um, and then the, the, the one from like a day before that from two weeks ago has 942 views. So yeah, I they're mean, shadow, they're shadow banning it, dude. Yeah, but also when I when I looked in there and I could go while we're talking and pull out some stuff here, there were very, there were a lot of very negative comments from from gun guys in there. Like, why bother if they could steal the election? They're gonna do whatever they want to do. Why are we doing all of this stuff? And I just feel like maybe it's important that we answer that to the folks out there first, right? Like, why bother? If I could speak to that, look, mm -hmm. I, I'm just as concerned with election fraud and stolen elections as the next guy. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, if they're going to steal the election, if they're going to tamper with the results, we need to win by a margin that is so undeniably clear and is insurmountable 
by you know any standard that they could possibly sway. Uh, so there is no doubt who the winners are. You know, we right. just have to get that many more people uh, to vote and to vote our way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and look, I'm not an attorney. You know, probably most people not watching watching this stream are not election law attorneys. Mm-hmm. You know, there are people who can fight that, and, and I know they will be fighting that. But as a little guy like me, I can knock a door. I can make a phone call. You know, I can do voter outreach. Mm-hmm. And, and to me, the way I see it, that's the biggest difference that I can make. And, you know, what Patrick was saying earlier, they, if there is, you know, if the Democrats, you know, take over the Senate, it'll be a 50-50 split. Kamala Harris will be the tie-breaking vote, so they can essentially pass whatever they want. You know, there's very little that can be done to stop it. Mm-hmm. And, and if, as a gun owner, a Second Amendment supporter, you can't be bothered to, to do something to help win this election, to have any sort of firewall to, to, to stop some of this stuff, then, then right. maybe we deserve the gun control. You know, that, you know, maybe I'm a little scarred, but like that, that's kind of where I'm at. We, we need to, to, to make, you know, make, make a sacrifice. You know, I've been here for three weeks. You know, it's, I, I, I've had time away from my family and, and, and things like that. And, and it's not so much a pity party for me, but it's because I'm here trying to win this election. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, it, it's, we need to care. If we care about, and I got a Glock right here. I can't show it because YouTube will ban this, I guess. But if we care about, you know, carrying a firearm, having an AR-15, you know, any sort of freedom or the principles our country was founded upon, then good golly, you know, come out to knock the door, make a phone call, or, or donate, you know, or, or just do something. You know, complacency is, is killing us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's if they've convinced us. If they've made, if they've demoralized us, then they've already won. I mean, if 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 you look at this like, hey, I'm I'm Billy Badass and I'm only gonna fight. Well, if you if you're gonna actually do, if you know what it takes to actually fight and you're gonna do that, this is it's way easier to to do this kind of stuff before we get to the fighting. Is am I am I just wrong on that? Am I just thinking wrong? I would agree with you. Like, I don't want our country to come to such a point. You know, I'm. I feel like I'm trying to prevent that by by being active in the, the, this election because I, I I want peace. You know, but it's it's when gun owners aren't willing to step up and, and act. It, it is it's sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, do you come across any of this at all, Dave? I know you're. You know, yeah, like you said, you're in a I strong mean, area, but. Well, yeah, but they're still they're apathetic, mm-hmm. and um, they they, like I said, runoff elections typically have very low voter turnout, and it's important that they get out and go, mm-hmm. and you see that so much. And he's right; he's absolutely right in that the it's almost it's almost like they've been conditioned to not care mm-hmm. because it's just like they don't care. Long as they can, long as they can get their deer rifle and their four wheelers and their bass boats and their, you know, other toys, whatever they like to play with nowadays, they just don't care, and well, they don't I mean, understand the fundamental. And then there's the, I'm mm-hmm. I'm going down a little bit of a rabbit hole mm-hmm. here, but mm-hmm. I see it some, and that's mm-hmm. there's a there's a contingent that, it's like let's just go ahead and go down this road and get it over with, mm-hmm. and see and see where it takes us. You know, does it get more violent? Does it just have more restrictions? There's a group of people that are, they're just curious what'll happen if this, you know, and I think that it, you got that whole group of people that's like 25 to 35 that remembers the Obama administration. And, you know, for what, the first two years, he had the House and Senate in his hand, and he didn't do anything. He did pass Obamacare, but mm-hmm. he didn't do anything with gun control. Mm-hmm. And I think they're just thinking that's the way it's, that's the way they're going to be. That, but he's not. He's not paying. A, or the general consensus is they're not paying attention to what's being said now. Mm-hmm. It's a different period in history than it was 12 years ago. And and Jordan's right. He's yeah. absolutely right. What do you What do you guys think about people? saying like you just said that the obama administration had an opportunity to do anything they didn't and people think that's going to happen but i see i hear a lot of rumbling from the gun guys that 
uh, the Trump and they had a super majority, right? Trump in the White right. House and, and yeah, Congress. Yeah, for the first two years, he had it too. That's yeah, and right. they didn't do anything. Right. They didn't. They didn't fix not one problem. Mm-hmm. And you know yeah. that that's a completely fair criticism. And in fact, you could argue that we got gun control out of the hundred and sixteenth Congress. I think you know, but you know now things have have changed, right? We're no longer on the offense because of the election and the mm-hmm. media appointed President Biden, mm-hmm. right? right? We are, we're playing defense. And, yeah. you know, you have a choice between people who want to make you a criminal for owning a, a firearm and people who don't want to make you a criminal for owning a firearm. And, right. and to me, it's pretty black and white right there. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Um, let me see here. There's a couple of things. Let me get this comment in from All Thumbs. You said, babyface... What you said last night is so true. Things go south and the two-way community has their backs against the wall. We need to think long and hard about what we are willing to actually do. That's the, <clears throat> that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. A lot of a lot of people in that – just use the word boogaloo because it's a funny word. But a lot of people are like uh, – accelerationism, I guess, is the right phrase for it, the right um, name for it. Wanting to push to – I was saying push to that point of – Everybody starts fighting, in fighting, so you see what party wins. But I don't think people realize what that entails. If you really, really think about that, you have no, no idea. Don't. People, people have no clue what you will literally have to be killing your neighbors to protect yourself from getting raided or people eating your, taking your food, killing you. Like people don't realize what civil war looks like, and it's not right. hard to find. Look at how many countries out there are currently in civil civil strife. Go look at Aleppo from a couple years ago. Do you really want that for your city? Like, that's the that's what would happen. Yeah, I think a lot oh, of yeah. people see it as like an action movie, right? But they're the star in the action movie, you are, and no matter what, they you survive. are not the hero in the act. You are not the hero in the action movie that lives till the end. You're the dude that gets thrown off the cliff at the beginning and dies. I'm sorry to say, but that's how it's gonna go. It's not. Yeah. Right. If, yeah, go it's ahead. It's not go this ahead, glorious Dave. thing that, that everybody is believing it's going to be. That's right. And that's a that's another form of conditioning is the is the misconception of what that's yeah, that's not gonna be a pretty thing. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you can just look at like Crimea, Soviet Georgia, um Aleppo is a good one, Syria, um there I mean and we haven't even got into South America. So yeah, it's like it's a mess, dude. It's not something you want to play with. That's a that's a yeah, that's a match you don't want to strike. Yeah. You really want to do what Jordan's doing. I'm just I keep pointing back to him because he's doing it right. Okay. Yeah. You win you win this. This is the only way to win it. Okay. If you if it gets to the point to where people are drawing guns, everybody's lost. Yeah. And it's it's not it's you know, they're going to turn the internet off. They're going to cut your power off. They're going to, yeah. you know, and it's just going to get ugly. Yeah, if you think so. it's bad that the media is ignoring what's happening and that um, even people within Trump's own administration are not doing what they're supposed to do when we're faced with this kind of, like, obvious fraud, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think happens <laughs> if Biden is running everything, all his folks are in there, and then they have control of military. Mm, yeah. You know, we we, I mean, we have this conversation all the time. Everyone's not gonna like say, "Oh, I'm not doing this. It's unconstitutional." Some of those guys over on the other side are gonna see an opportunity for them, mm-hmm. you know, in whatever the brave new world is, and they're gonna realize, "Well, we 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 got the uh, attack helicopters and uh, armored vehicles and tanks and stuff like that." You know, what could, we mm-hmm. don't really we don't really want to get there if. If we get there and that's where we're at, fine. But it's not going to be it's not going to be fun times at all, man. No. So, and people and people are preparing for this armed conflict. Mm-hmm. I literally saw a um, publication a day or two ago about how the month of November set FBI Nick's check records, mm-hmm. like all time high. Um, uh, of like 233 percent of 2019 it was like i don't remember the numbers millions and millions and millions and millions of guns mm-hmm. were bought in four days 
Mm -hmm. Literally, Black Friday weekend, well, it set sales records and all sorts of things. People are preparing for something very ugly, and mm -hmm. you don't want it to come to that. Yeah, absolutely not. Razor JB, uh, who, who's a friend of the show here, says, um, I've seen my share of war, gunfights, and bloodshed, and I'm not ready for it. Yeah, so no. that's, that's the thing that anybody, we're trying to prevent. Anybody that's done any amount of history reading... You don't even have to see it in person. Just read a history book. You don't want that. It's not mm -hmm. going to be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I hey, mean, Babyface made a good point. You're not that hero. You're that guy that gets off at the beginning of the movie. He's right. Yeah. And, and you know, guys, look look at our, to our founding fathers as a history. You know, yeah. the, the first tyrannical thing King George did, they didn't start shooting, right? You mm -hmm. know? Uh, they, they for decades they they tolerated it, and you know I, I believe our, our founding documents and I'm going to butcher this, but they even say that it's better to suffer, you know, th than to ch try to fight and overthrow it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm r very roughly paraphrasing that, but right. you know, I, I want peace and I want you know I I want uh, elected officials who respect the Constitution. That's what I'm trying to do here in Georgia. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. For all the for all the young folks out there, not the old lions ready to die or whatever, you know, whatever it is. For the young folks who are out there, for the people like Patrick who's just starting his family, you know, for the mm -hmm. folks like you, Jordan, for my for my sons who are in college, you know, let's try to do this the right way before mm -hmm. we even try to um, light the fuse on that one. Um, and CB, CB has this to say, which I think is probably the quote of the night so far. You guys can vote if there's another better one than this. CB says, people will dream die hard, but fight like stormtroopers. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know what, CB? So far, he's got the vote. Yeah. Because that was true. That's, yeah. that's pretty much true. Absolutely. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.